But a special request, we're doing an energy flow today. So this is going to be a little different from our usual practice. We are going to start in mountain pose. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, knees going toward those second toes. Ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders lined up. Core activated, supporting your spine. Get those ribs back toward your spine and up and then shoulders down towards your waist. And just keep reaching the head up as you sink evenly into your feet. We're gonna start with yoga breathing. So if you're not familiar with it, it's three parts, inhaling to the lowest part of the lungs, which makes the belly move out, expanding through the ribs, middle lungs, and then all the way up to the collarbones, filling the whole capacity of the lungs. And then as you exhale, releasing in the reverse, back down, letting that belly sink in as you expel the full breath. So inhaling, just slowly, exhaling, just completely, letting awareness flow in, would be that yoga perspective throughout the practice. And just lengthen through the spine while you're doing your breathing. And feel that calming sensation, helping to release any tension anywhere in your body. And then we're going to do our alternate nostril breathing for just a bit. So bring your hand in front of your face, right in front of your nose, and then put the thumb on one nostril. Exhale, and then inhale, and then put the little finger and ring finger on the other nostril as you release the first one. And again, exhale and inhale. And it's another calming breath. It's going at your own slow pace. Think about keeping that spine long and straight and open. Toes spread, not gripping. Whole body relaxing as you breathe. Focusing inward. And then the next time you exhale, we'll just release the hand back to your sides. And just take a moment in mountain pose, feeling your body, noticing how your mind is. And let that mind just release any thoughts about anything other than what you're exactly doing in this moment. So thoughts on your body, Thoughts on your breath, thoughts anywhere else, just let them go. And you can close your eyes for this practice. There's no actual movement on this. Let your arms relax at your sides. Keep that core supporting your spine. Keep the spine lengthening up and the shoulders relaxing down. And just imagine you're standing in a puddle of earth energy. And we're going to draw that earth energy up. So imagine it coming up through the legs to the bottom of your spine, the perineum, the base of your torso. And this is the energy of your connection to the earth, connection to those in your family of origin, family of choice, how you relate to the world around you. And just feel that energy right at the base of your spine, keeping you grounded to the earth down through your feet. And as you breathe, just draw that energy up into that pelvis core area, the center of your natural self. This is where you, regardless of your gender, give birth to who you are as your natural self. Breathe birth into the world to represent yourself. So feel that energy there in your belly. Let it activate and energize. And then draw that energy up to the solar plexus. And this is the center of empowerment in the yoga energy system. You just feel that midsection heating up with that energy that 
empowers you and energizes you to be effective in the world. And then draw the energy up to your heart center, right at the middle of your chest. This is the center of energy connecting to community, that world outside you, expanding your relationships. And just let your heart open to that energy, activating it for you. And then draw the energy up to your throat, center at the base of the regular notch there. Following that spine all the way up into the center of self-expression, communication, creativity, things that you express into the world, both through your voice and words, but also through what you do and how you perform and the things that you create with your hands and your mind. And then go ahead and bring that energy up awareness up into the middle of your skull, into that unity center, center of wisdom and intuition, awareness of the universal truth, as well as that of knowledge and learning in the world. And feel that whole sense of dwelling sensations in the middle of your skull is that Energy throbs and opens. And draw the energy all the way up to the crown of your head, right at the top of your body. This is where your energy, your individual energy, connects with the energy of the entirety of the universe. And just let your energy and the universal energy combine and swell. And as it becomes more and more and more, just let it begin cascading down the outside of your body, down to that pool of earth energy at your feet. It's just flowing, filling any energy gaps that you might have, filling you with a complete sense of energy. And then just continue that process, drawing up, from your feet, from the earth energy, that root energy, to that pelvic energy, sense of self, to that empowerment, energizing energy of the solar plexus, to your community and relationship energy at the heart, communication and self-expression at the throat, and to that meditative, expansive knowledge and wisdom within that skull center. And finally, again, connecting to the universal energy, sending your energy out to the universe as you bring in universal energy to you. And again, just let it cascade down into your puddle, drawing it up through your energy centers, activating each one in turn as you rise, and overflow, activating that earth energy, all the energy centers all the way up, filling you with energy, opening your energy flow, breathing it up, filling you, filling your awareness. And as you return that energy down to the earth center, feel that grounded sensation. Feel that fullness of energy throughout your whole energy system. And keep that awareness as we continue our practice. And spreading your toes, lengthening your spine, you can open your eyes and be aware of how that energy feels within you. And on your own, of course, you can continue that energy flow anytime you need to build a little bit more awareness in any of your energy centers or build a little bit more effective use of energy in any of those centers. And for now, we're going to just bring up our arms to shoulder level, keeping those shoulders down, stretch the fingertips out in the crown high. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows back, keeping that heart center open. 
Inhale, extend the arms forward, keeping the shoulders relaxing. Feel that expansion through the full arm and upper body. Exhale, the hands behind you. Just clasp the fingertips and press them gently down. So you again lift the heart, opening it toward the ceiling. Stretch your head back. Pivot at your hips, exhaling over. Deepen into your forward position as much as your spine would like to stretch today. Move your chin, jaw around, get the neck releasing. And then with your knees slightly bent, start at the bottom of the spine, winding all the way up. You just notice every bone of your spine moving into place, coming up and rising into the back bend, lifting your heart and stretching back, arms, shoulders, relaxing down. Inhale, <clears throat> coming upright. Release your arms back in the mountain pose. Again, just notice that energy flowing still through you, through all your energy centers. And again, bring your arms to shoulder level. Stretch out through the fingertips. Keep the shoulders down. Relax. Exhale to your heart. Stretch to the front. And clasp your hands the opposite way behind you down and sing things out. Lift your heart. Stretch your head back. And again, pivot at the hips, coming all the way over. Let your hands come up. Bring your head down as deeply as you'd like. Toward your legs, hands toward your head. Feel that stretch on the back. And again, knees slightly bent as you work your way back slowly up, just feeling what's going on through your whole body. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, stretch your head. And inhale upright, releasing your arms. Mountain pose once again, just feel that center connection down into the earth, all the way up through the bones, through the energy centers. Bring your arms again, inhaling them to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Pass them in class, bring your arms back by your ears for our side stretch. So remember, shoulders down, head out, Hands reaching away and sitting bones toward the floor. Everything facing forward as you lean to the side. Reach out through your head and your hands. Push the foot you lean away from down. Get that expansion along the ribs. And feel that whole side stretch as the spine moves laterally. No leaning forward, just everything straight. Inhale back to the top, keep the shoulders down as you switch the other hand to the front. Bring your arms back by your ears and once you have stretch it out, spread your toes, everything straight, leaning to the opposite side. Feel that full spine lengthening and opening as you deepen into that side stretch. Put the foot down, push the hands away, feel that expansion. And then breathing, inhaling upright, exhale your arms out and back to mountain pose. Again, as you get into mountain pose, just take a moment, feeling your spine activated and all those energy centers working, opening, activating as well. And we'll do our twist next. So get that spine really stretched apart, sitting bones and base of the skull stretching away. Arms at shoulder level. Palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows. Spread your toes, stretch that spine, look at the apart, and exhale for your twist either direction. Another breath in, exhale on over. Let that spine get a good stretch while it's twisted, facing slightly toward the side. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. And on an inhalation, arms by your ears, walking your way back up and into the upper body for your back bend, not that lower back when you're twisted. Elbows back, chest high, shoulders down. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center, switch your arms around, again bring your arms by your ears. Stretch the spine apart once more and exhale to the opposite twist. A breath in. Pivot over as you exhale. And just deepen into your position as much as you need and want today. 
Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. And again, slightly bend the knees as you slowly work your way up in the twist, lifting your heart into that upper body back then. Shoulders down, elbows back. Don't forget to breathe. And on an inhalation, come upright, exhale around to the center. Come on into your extended mountain, lengthening up. Swan dive forward, arms coming, palms toward the floor, shoulder level, pivoting at your hips and parallel to the floor with your upper body. Stretch it out and then just drop into ragdoll. Hang as deeply as you like. You can pull in further with your hands behind your legs for a nice back of your body stretch. And then arms to the front and slowly wind your way to mountain pose. Shoulders back and down, and everything aligned. Feel that core activated, feel that spine lengthening, and energy flowing through you. Spread your toes, hands to your heart. Look at your hands, and again, bring them toward the ceiling. Follow your thumbs, watching them as you pull them back, giving a nice back bend to that whole spine. Deeply or gently, your choice. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivoting at your hips. Come on into ragdoll. Just hang for a moment. Lift your sitting bones. Get those nice stretch on the back of your legs. Slide your hands up under your knees for that halfway up stretch. Elbows, knees, and spine straight. Exhale, drop the hands to the floor. Knees bent. And again, Hands together, coming to your heart, all the way toward the ceiling. Another back bend, lifting your heart. Separate your hands, swan dive, arms at shoulder level, pivot forward, stretch it out, and drop into right down. Slide your hands up under your knees, halfway up, stretch it out. And exhale back down. And slowly again, hands together to your heart, to the ceiling, another little back bend. Hands to your heart and back into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get there, just feeling what's going on internally for you. Noticing all that energy flowing. And then inhale, arms to shoulder level, palms to the ceiling. Hands overhead, swan dive again into your ragdoll position. Hands under your knees on your shins, another halfway up stretch. And let's transition to the floor and make on to your child's pose. Hips on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead down toward the floor. Take a moment, just getting a good stretch through your whole body. And then inhale, sit up, coming into stack position. So feet out in front, hip width apart, sitting bones slightly behind you, press out through the heels, go back with the toes, knees straight up toward the ceiling. Take a moment in stack position, getting that core activated and that spine lengthening. And then you can stay in a stack position or you can cross your legs. And of course, reverse them since we're creatures of habit and do that the same each time. We're going to do a little uh, bowing breath. So focusing on the breath, bring your chin into the notch at the base of your throat to start exhaling. And just keep rounding one bone at a time slowly down as you bring your forehead forward, either towards your legs if you're in a staff position or toward the floor. If you cross it. Take a moment there as you get the forehead all the way down as far as it wants to go. And then starting at the bottom of your spine and coming back up as you inhale. Lengthening as you get to the top, slightly looking up, lifting the heart slightly, a teeny little back bend as you get to the top. And then again, exhaling just very slowly coming down into your chest, 
lengthening through the spine, feeling each bone moving down as you exhale into that bowing position. Forehead toward the floor. Pause there a moment. You can hold the breath out. And then as you begin breathing in again, start at the bottom of the spine, coming back all the way up, all the way to the top as you inhale, filling your lungs. And again, pausing as you're slightly looking up, shoulders still down. And again, you can hold that breath in for a moment. One more time, exhaling. Turning to the chest, bones really slowly, slowly, slowly into that bowing position. Sitting as low toward the floor on your legs as you want to go. Holding the breath out for a moment. And then on the inhalation, from the bottom of the spine, slowly, slowly, slowly coming down up to straight seated position this time. And just again, feel that energy flowing up your spine, into your skull, into that meditative connection in that wisdom point deep within. Take a moment and breathe. And then coming up onto your knees, you can fold over your mat for a little cushioning under your knees, or you can have um, an actual cushion if you need it. We're going to come up onto our knees with the hips right above the knees, the shoulders right above the hips. And we're going to just do a little side stretch and gait pose. So I find it easiest to begin this by coming down onto my hands and knees like in table position and bring your foot out to the side with the toes pointing to the front. And then walk your hands back into that kneeling position with your hips, hip above the knee, this hip even across from that, shoulders above that. Hand along that extended leg, the other arm comes out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder, and just slide over into that side stretch, opening the ribs. Again, a lateral motion of your spine, so both shoulders facing the front as you slide into that opening along the ribs. Take a breath, extend out through your fingertips and your head, and just slide that hand along the leg as far as it wants to go. Take a breath, and relax. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale that arm down. And again, bring your hands to the front so you can pull that knee in, leg in. Bring me back onto your hands and knees in table position. And we will balance the body with the other foot coming out, toes to the front. Walk the hands again back up so that your hips are even, shoulders are even facing the front. Hand on the leg and the other arm out at shoulder level. Turn the palm up, bring the arm by your ear. And again, slide sideways, no twist. Don't lean forward, just sliding, opening the ribs. Feeling that lateral motion in your spine, opening it side to side. Take a breath. Exhale and relax. Let that hand slide as far as it wants. Just doing what's right for your body, as always, your personal practice. Take a breath. Make sure you're not leaning forward. And again, on an inhalation, come on back up. Keep the shoulder relaxed. Bring the arm out, palm to the floor and down. And once more, hands in front of you, bringing that knee back in and sinking back on your heels. You can unfold your mat if you had it folded over, coming into a kneeling position. Take a moment there, just feeling your body, breathing deep and exhaling tension. And again, we're going to bring the chin into that notch at the base of your throat. Feel the back of your neck getting a little stretch. And we're going to bring the hands one at a time to the back of your head. No pressure, just a little extra weight, giving a little extra stretch to the back of your neck. Take a breath. As you exhale, 
Just feel that neck lengthen a little bit more. Deep breaths, everything relaxed. And then releasing your hands, tip your head back upright. Feel the neck a little bit more energized. And we're going to lengthen and let the front of your throat get a little more energy as well. So looking up toward the ceiling, keep stretching through the base of your skull at the back of your neck as well, lengthening through that whole neck area, stimulating that throat center energy, self-expression. You can move your jaw around, scrunch your face, everything getting a little bit more work through that whole throat area. And then tip your head back upright. Take a moment, noticing a little bit more energy flowing there. And then tip an ear over toward one side. As you do, just relax both shoulders down, no hunching either one up. Ear just going as far as it wants to toward that shoulder. The side you're tipping toward, bring the hand up. Put the hand on the head, but don't press, just add a little weight. You'll feel that stretch on the other side of the neck a little deeper. Just let it relax and happen. Don't force it. If you like the stretch and you want a little bit more, you can bring your fingertips or palm down to the floor and get a little extra on that side, stretching your neck. Take a breath. Exhale tension. And then release your hands and tip your head back upright. Notice the difference, of course, on the two sides. So we need to balance that. Bring your ear over toward the other shoulder. Both shoulders staying down. Exhaling and relaxing. And the side you're tipping toward, you can bring that hand up. Again, no pressure, just a little extra weight, giving you a little bit more stretch. Take a moment and breathe. Bring the fingertips down or hand down if you'd like for a little extra. Stretching that side of your neck and shoulder. Take a breath. Really relax as you exhale. Let it stretch. And then releasing your hands. Tip your head back upright. Feel the neck a little bit more energized and activated once more. Take a moment to breathe. Exhale and relax. And then slide off your heels and bring the legs out in front into staff position. And we'll do, oh, let's do our diving dolphin twist. So bring your Put right foot to the inner left thigh, knee out to the side as much as it wants. Bend your left knee and bring the heel near your hip or wherever it goes, not under the hip, because we want that hip to be up so we can twist. Lengthen through the spine, feeling that spine activate. And exhale, turning toward your right knee, the first one we bend. Dive in your dolphin, bring those ribs back, tuck in your chin, exhale, dive under, forehead toward the knee. Face to the front, crown <clears throat> coming up, lifting your heart, coming to the sun and the sky as you breathe in. <clears throat> Follow your own breath pace, exhaling to dive your dolphin under. Inhaling to leap it up to the sun and the sky. Feel your dolphin, feel your whole spine working. Feel your breath, let it fill you. And as you rise to the top, just focus inward on that mid skull connection, getting ready for a little meditative connection. As you exhale, turn back to the center and release your legs. Back in staff position, just take a moment feeling your spine. Feeling that energy rising into your skin. And then the left foot to the right thumb. Heel back near your hip, knee to the front. Hip is up slightly so we can twist, lengthen through the spine, separating the bones, exhaling, turning toward that left knee this time. Ribs in, shoulders rolling forward as you exhale, diving your forehead down toward the knee. 
face to the front, lifting in a nice back bend, coming up as you inhale to the sun in the sky. And again, feel the hips work, feel the spine work, feel your whole body lengthening with each rise as you breathe in. Keep lengthening through the back of your neck as you go. And the next time again that you're at the top, just pause there, feeling that awareness deep within. Exhale around to the center, releasing your legs to stand. And bring your feet to the end of the mat if they aren't already. And slowly roll all the way onto your back. As you come into corpse position, just let your body soften and sink. Deepening into that connection beneath you. Feeling that earth support. Knowing that that earth puddle of energy is fully activated beneath you. Drawing energy into every part of your body from the earth. Take a moment and breathe. And again, draw your awareness from your feet to the root center, center of your connection to your community, to your natural self at the pelvis, your energizing, activating energy at the solar plexus, your heart center, center of relationship and community, connections, your throat center, self-expression, creativity center, all the way to the middle of your skull, to that meditative wisdom center, your intuition comes to you as well. And just open to the energy at the ground, filling your body with energy, letting any tension release. Let your body grow heavy, connecting deep into that earth puddle of energy. And let the earth support your body. And let your awareness release to the universe. Letting the thoughts flowing in and out release without attention. And just fill your awareness with the energy of each center. Finding the peace within, deepening that awareness of the peace in each center of energy. And just take a few moments, breathe in peace, be in peace, energizing peace within. Just keep allowing that energy awareness to flow through you, filling your breath, filling your body, filling your being. And as you begin to activate for the rest of your day, keep that awareness fully functioning throughout your day as well. Breathe more deeply, drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to your body. Move your body gently, however feels right for you today, whenever you're ready to do that. When you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, heels toward your hips, and your knees up toward your head. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga and energy work today. Breathing deep. Stretching gently, let your body know you appreciate its work for you every day as well. 
and let your energy know as well. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, we'll roll over to the side, sitting back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.